Everyone knows the deadly sickle-like killing claw on a velociraptor's foot, made famous by Jurassic Park. The terrifying looking claw sat on the end of the second toe, but unlike in the films never contacted the ground, meaning that Velociraptor and other dromaeosaurs walked on only two toes, keeping their killing claw held up. For many years it was assumed that these predators utilised the toe claw by slashing at their prey's bellies and disemboweling them. This would seem to be a reasonable assumption, since they looked like deadly efficient tools that could easily slash through skin and muscle. In addition, these toes would have had many flexible joints when the animal was alive, allowing the digit a wide range of movement from above to below the other toes, so the animal could perform a slashing movement. But more recently, this has turned out to be not quite so true, as studies involving replica claws and robotic limbs have shown that these claws are not very useful for slicing, and that, in fact, they were probably unable to cut through most parts of their prey's hide. So, what were the claws used for? If we look at modern day raptors such as hawks, eagles and some vultures, we can see that they target animals smaller than themselves, and instead of using their claws to kill their prey, they leap on top of them, using claws to grip them and pin them down, and then begin eating them alive. This seems to be a far more likely method of hunting for prehistoric raptors, and as a model called Raptor Prey Restraint, or RPR. This method could also provide an explanation for the function of feathered arms and hands on dromaeosaurs, since the animals would need to stay balanced on top of their prey, so may have flapped their arms in order to stay atop the struggling animal. The long counterbalancing tail of many dromaeosaurs would also have been useful in keeping the raptor in position. So, instead of killing their prey with threatening claws, it's far more likely that raptors killed using their teeth, but don't think that this is any less frightening. Imagine a large dromaeosaur pouncing onto a smaller creature, flapping its feathery arms and mercilessly pinning the other animal onto the ground with their sharp claws, and then beginning to slowly eat its prey alive. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Remember to subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this one, and you can also follow me on social media.